Uh, football 365 saying Alonso is wrong for Liverpool and that he has no tactics. I, I don't know what to say about that, Stephen. To say a manager that's winning the Bundesliga and is the only manager unbeaten in Europe in any way this season has no tactics is a little bit... Um, well, it's quite frankly silly. This video is sponsored by Surfshark, the best VPN on the market. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to change your location to access websites in other countries and keep you safe and secure from hackers. Using Surfshark, we here in Ireland can access other countries' Netflix libraries or other streaming platforms like The Zone in Spain for all those important Premier League games. Surfshark keeps you safe and private by protecting everything you do online. Everything. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is, in a way, blurred out. Surfshark is particularly useful for keeping you safe from being hacked if you use public Wi-Fi. Let's say you're in a cafe, you're at college, you're out and about, they've got you covered. Surfshark allows you to use one subscription on unlimited devices, meaning you can share your account with friends or family or that neighbor who's a little bit cheap. On top of all of this, Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. You can also upgrade to Surfshark One, which includes the VPN, an alert system for breaches related to your data, such as emails and credit cards, and an antivirus software for your desktop. Our sign-up offer gives you Surfshark VPN for a little over two euro a month and you'll get an additional three months free. Simply scan the QR code on screen right now or use the link in the description and enter the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. Xabi Alonso has been scrutinised over the last few weeks by many ex-players, many pundits and I don't see... Uh, I don't see a consensus of him having no tactics, so I don't know where the good folks of Football 365 came up with that one, but I would uh, respectfully disagree. Uh, Jamie Carragher speaking about the remarkable job at the Bay Arena that uh, has been done by Xabi Alonso said, We're going to look at it because I think there's a great chance he'll become the next Liverpool manager. He seems the standout favourite. When you think of all the great managers at the start, a lot of them do something pretty remarkable at maybe a lower level. Uh, Jamie Carragher said on Monday Night Football. You think of what Jose Mourinho did at Porto winning a Champions League. You think of Jurgen Klopp, two titles with, with Borussia Dortmund, and now you think of Xabi Alonso. And if he actually achieves that, what it looks like and what their favourites now to achieve, to win a Bundesliga and the result that they had at the weekend against Bayern Munich, which was really impressive for anybody who watched the game. They, they tore Bayern to shreds and the result didn't flatter them at all. Um, how does he go about it and how would it be different to Jurgen Klopp and his Liverpool team is kind of what Cara's getting at. And uh, I think there's been a lot of good pieces done about this. I know James Alcott's done a few bits about it. Uh, I know there are other um, tactical channels that have done a few bits about Xabi Alonso's system. Uh, I'm starting to read up and watch as much of it as I can. So for me, and I, I, I guess I can speak for all of us, at least I hope I can. Is there anybody out there who still doubts Alonso or... Um, and again, this is me having a dig at you. Please don't feel that way. I'm just asking sincerely. Is there anybody who feels like Alonso isn't the right choice at this minute and that perhaps there's a better place manager out there in world football you'd like to see come in? Because I'm aware a lot of the conversation that we've had on here over the last couple of weeks has been very shabby centric. So uh, I guess open up the floor to anybody who maybe has other suggestions. I mean, we talked a little bit yesterday about Roberto De Zerbi and the brand of football that he plays and would it be uh, feasible for him to come in and take over at Liverpool and I think the consensus was yes but for me anyway it's definitely a little bit concerning about his ability to attract the bigger players. Uh, imagine Alonso says he wants to stay at Bayer Leverkusen for another year and join Liverpool after all as well. Do you think Klopp could be convinced to stay one more year? No, I don't. Unfortunately Mohamed I wish he would mate but no. Um, and also, I know that the Bayer Leverkusen side certainly feel confident they'll be able to keep Alonso. Obviously, we have to believe differently if we want him as their manager. But I don't think... I think it's it's now or never. Well, maybe not never, but now or not for the foreseeable Um, for regards to Xabi Alonso. The job is going to be vacated in the summer, so we need a manager in this summer. And... If Alonso wants to stay on at Leverkusen for another year, that's absolutely his prerogative. But the Liverpool job won't be available 
after that um, we'll have had somebody in place at that point and we'd have a full season under our belt so um, yeah we'll wait and see it is unfortunately a waiting game at the moment you know I hope stuff is happening behind the scenes I hope the approach is made I hope that you know there's stuff happening that we don't know about but ultimately we do have to be respectful he is a manager in a job and um, let's leave FSG to go about the process of finding the right candidate and we certainly believe it's your or it's um, Jabby Alonso. Uh, I think former players think similarly. The media thinks similarly, but ultimately, it's up to the owners of the football club, and um, obviously, their counterpart to Bayer Leverkusen to figure it out. Are you worried that Alonso might stay on? Um, I mean, it, it's a concern. It's certainly a concern, Callum. Am I worried about it? Well, look, I'm arrogant, so. I believe the Liverpool job should be attractive to anybody, and that includes Mr. Xabi Alonso. I understand, yes, that he has a good job there in Leverkusen, but ultimately, this is a step up. This is one of the dream clubs for him. And whether you listen to Bastian Schweinsteiger or other players who played with Xabi, yes, there will be an allure of Liverpool. Does he feel it's the right time for a move? I hope so. Um, Understand that ideally, yes, he'd probably have had another year at Leverkusen, and... Maybe he was looking, maybe initially that, like 2026, when Jurgen was supposed to be out of contract, probably would have become uh, preferential to him. But unfortunately, Jurgen made his announcement and we need a manager. So I hope the club can convince Alonso to take the role. I feel like they will. But, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to be that arrogant just sitting here assuming everything is great because we're Liverpool. But look, I, I can only put it like this. How often is it that a top job in world football comes available when the squad is really good, the manager hasn't shit the bed, the owners haven't fallen out with anyone, players haven't stopped playing. You know, it's a good squad doing good things that's been refreshed in a stadium that's been given a nice facelift, 60,000 people every week, uh, following on from a legendary manager who's leaving you a really good squad. I mean, there's lots of positives there for any manager to walk into the job. So I can see it be a very appealing job to anybody in world football. So you would hope that would apply to Xabi Alonso. Uh, one signing I'd love to see in the summer is Inacio, said Xander. Got great talent and would fit Xabi's system very well. Your thoughts? I've said the same, mate. You know, if it was for me picking the centre-back, it would be uh, Inacio for the system that will probably play. So yes, I'm with you on that one. Uh, I've been very vocal on my anxiousness to bring Alonso on. He's continued to prove me wrong. If he wins the league, I'll be on board. But now I feel like should chase proven winners. I don't know who are the proven winners, though, Owen, in all honesty, mate. Um, I feel like it's a weird time in world football for managers. Because outside of Klopp and, let's say, Guardiola, who who is there really else around? You know, um, Antonio Conte is not a good fit for us at all. Mourinho wouldn't be the right fit for us, you know. There's not many. Ancelotti's in a great job at Real Madrid. Outside of those gents, Zidane isn't the good fit for Liverpool. Um, I don't know who else there is in the proven manager category for me that I would think would be a good cultural and stylistic fit. Um, who's our next manager? For me, Justin, it has to be Alonso, and I'd go as far as to say has to be. Nobody else I feel is going to be able to make that same personal connection to the Liverpool fan base that Alonso will instantly have if he gets the job. You know, everybody will rightly have concerns about Alonso's lack of real senior first team experience as a manager. But sometimes you just know somebody has it. And I feel like that's the case with Alonso. You you know, you can you can see the man's football and brain work when he's on the sideline or even in the job that he did bringing Sociedad's B team up to the second tier, I think, of Spanish football, which is the, the furthest they're able to go. So I think, yeah, him. I don't have a second option. If you wanted me to pick three, I would go Alonso, Postacoglu, the Zerbi, in that order. Um, I'm not saying they're the three best coaches in the world by any stretch, but they're the three, I think, that would be best suited to our job. I would have no interest in... Nagelsmann, uh, Flick, Scratch and Sniff, um, 
Conte's the wrong fit. Zidane wouldn't be a good fit. I wouldn't like to go back and have Rafael Benitez again. Yeah, it's Alonso or Bust in my mind. I honestly think if Alonso wins the Bundesliga, he'll stay. Um, so I guess my answer to that, Hamza, would be I hope we have an answer before the season comes to an end. So for me, I hope we don't get to have to find out if he wins the Bundesliga or not because I don't think we have the, what's the phrase I'm looking for here, um, pleasure of waiting that long. I think we need to figure out who the next manager is going to be sooner rather than later because there's three contract renewals that need to be dealt with quickly and I'm sure that Trent, Mo, and Verge are all going to want to know what the future looks like at the club. We need to get a sporting director in place. We need to get the plans in place for the summer transfer window. I don't think we can do all of that if it's a late appointment. You know, Let's say, for instance, that Alonso said, I don't want to talk till the summer. That's a big risk because if it doesn't work then and Alonso, for whatever reason, decided to stay at Leverkusen, we're up shit creek with the clock ticking and the whole succession plan for Klopp's out the window. So, yeah, that would concern me. I hope that it... My ideal scenario is that we, you know, come to an agreement with Leverkusen and Alonso. Um, everybody signs off on everything and everyone just gets back to finishing their seasons and we revisit it then in the summer, but knowing what the plan is. 